Every time I walk through the museum, you see almost 120 uninterrupted years of very, very iconic moments from our past. It's nice to have these motorcycles that are time capsules that take you right back to a moment. We absolutely saw that as a reason to bring the Icons collection to life. Icons was born out of the fact that we have something that's really special that's kind of been a part of this company's history for 118 years. We thought, you know, wow, this would be really cool. We could do a real small batch, limited edition, serialized. Every now and then just go back in the archives, pick the next one. So Electroglide Revival is the first bike of the Icons collection. Because of the small batch nature of the concept with the Icons collection, it allows us to really hone in on a theme and do some really cool things. And so that's exactly what we plan to do with future models. We have some incredibly fun stuff cooking in the Icons collection, so I think people are gonna be really excited about this. Electroglide Revival is going right back to the roots of what made you know, Harley-Davidson Grand American Touring so special and so unique. It instantly looks like one of those bikes from the late 60s and early 70s. It's kind of this, you know, past to present, present to future. Leading into craftsmanship is really important with this bike. We have this amazing capability through our designers, through our manufacturing facilities, in creating these very special and unique motorcycles that will start to have a special place in this generation of customers' lives. There's that lineage back to the very first folks in the paint shop at Juno Avenue who were applying paint and the techniques that they used are influencing the way that we create motorcycles today. There's still a sort of a hands-on human approach with the way that we apply our paint and graphics to the motorcycles. One of the things that the Tomahawk operations we pride into is craftsmanship. The Electric Glide in 1969, so those components, bodywork on that, made at this facility. Fast forward, now we're building parts for the Revival bike. Taking on something that's custom colors, that's something that we really do well. The tank probably on the surface may look easy. That is not an easy color combination because of the masking that's required and that finish that we've put to replicate its predecessor it took a lot of time and effort. I think you can look for us to continue to lean into 118 years of amazing history and for us to kind of look through that and figure out where is the next magical opportunity for us to bring something into present day and just show something that people would have never imagined coming back but with a whole different view on what it means in present day technology and ultimately riding the past into the future.